Hello everyone, I'm Vicky Zhu from Industrial Technology Research Institute, ETRI. Uh, it is a high technology research center in Taiwan. In this talk, I'm going to present our software defined storage system for all fresh array management. Uh, it has been published to GitHub uh, this July. Uh, we know that SSC is built for high-performance high data access, and recently SSD has become the main storage device in enterprise. And in addition to the high-performance, SSD has other benefits in the factor of power usage, size, and noise. And in enterprise, if they want to have very high performance, they usually will buy this kind of off array servers. Uh, these servers will have a lot of SSD drive. Uh, however, uh, this kind of servers do not have data protection. So if a SSD device failed, the data stored in it will be lost. For enterprise, uh, to overcome this kind of problem, the naive solution is to use the standard software Ray 5 in Linux. But according to our benchmark results, the performance is not quite good. So uh, to solve this issue, we built uh, a storage system called SOFA, uh, standing for stand Software Orchestrated Fresh Array. And it is a software-defined storage system to provide both the high data protection and high performance. It is a kernel module in Linux to provide the block-level storage system. And we provide a pseudo device for users to do the data rewrite. All the data access through this pseudo device will be served by the sofa by using the underlying SSDs and we also uh, develop uh, our proprietary RAID 5 and RAID 6 technology. And the technology will have two advantages. The first one is very high performance. We can achieve 1 million IAPS for 4K byte render rewrite. Uh, it is almost 10 times faster than standard software RAID 5. And another advantage is to have SSD uh, better lifetime. We can achieve 1.8 times uh, better lifetime as compared to standard software RAID 5. Uh, this slide will show our performance advantage in render access. In this figure, I use the 10 digs for illustration. In standard RAID 5, uh, in each RAID 5 stripe, there will be nine data blocks and one parity block. In standard RAID 5, the data location has already been assigned and fixed. So if user performs random write, it is with high probability that the data write will be issued to different stripe. So for each one user random write, we will need to read and to write to the SSD. Uh, it is because uh, we need to read the data block, read the parity block, write to the uh, data block, and write to the parity block. So for nine user random writes, we will uh, need 18 read and 18 write in SSD in total. On the other hand, in so far, we, we will always write the data to the new stripe. In the other hand, the incoming data wrap will be grouped into new data stripe to the SSD. So for nine user render writes, we will only need 10 writes to the SSD. So as can be seen from these values, so far will have lower performance overhead. That is why we can achieve higher performance. This slide shows our performance experimental results. In this testing, uh, we use 20 SATA SSD. We group the uh, SSD into two RAID 5 groups. As can be seen from this figure, uh, for the 4K block random write, uh, so far can achieve 1 million IAPS. 
Sofa has another advantage. It is to provide better SSD life span. We also use this example to show for for illustration. And we can we know that the SSD have a limited number of write cycles before the cell fails. So the number of write to the SSD is very critical. So we compare the number of writes issued by the sender's RAID 5 and by the SOFA. Because uh, in sender RAID 5, 9 user render write will need a total 18 writes to the SSD. So the write amplification is 2. In SOFA, uh, every 9 user render write will only need 10 writes to the SSD. So the write amplification is 1.1. So um, as compared to by compare these values, uh, SOFA can have 1.8 times lifetime per noning as compared to the standard RAID 5. SOFA also can achieve high performance access through the network. Because for some customer, their user programs will running uh, outside SOFA. And we provide uh, iSCSI service, so the user program can also access the data through the network. In this testing, we perform four FIO each run in one PC. The aggregation performance result is one million IAPS for 4K byte random rewrite. Uh, there are two technologies to achieve it. Firstly, uh, we optimize the open source iSCSI software to have a better uh, throughput. Secondly, uh, we optimize the CPU allocation. In the off-fresh array, the system contains three main layers, including the network layer, iSCSI layer, and the SOFA layer. Uh, by using Nini's default core CP core assignment, we uh, only can have uh, 600k IAPS. In our algorithm, we will optimize the number of threads in each layer and the core assignment for each thread in each layer. So by our op optimization, we can uh, finally get one mini IAPS. Uh, okay, the SOFA has been open source and uh, published to the GitHub uh, this July. The open source version uh, contains two main features, uh, RAID 5 and the admin web UI for system health monitoring. And the commercial version is also ready. And the rich features include uh, one mini IAP over the iSCSI, RAID 6, Balance national service, scale up on the fly, and write limit control on SSD and the HA capability. Okay, and thank you for your time. And if you are interested in our product, SOFA, uh, please contact us. Thank you.